Almost everybody uses AirPods, and I feel like most producers are missing out on the capabilities of what AirPods can do by not having them in their artillery. I think these are the best headphones for referencing Dolby Atmos mixes in 2023. Let's get started. Apple AirPods have been around for quite some time now, but this wasn't the first Bluetooth headset that Apple has ever released. Back in 2007 and up until 2016, most iPhones came with a Bluetooth headset. It wasn't until December of 2016 that Apple actually released their first generation of AirPods. And it wasn't until 2019 that they released their AirPods Pro line along with the second gen AirPods in March. Which brings us up to the past three years with the AirPods third generation, Apple AirPods Pro second generation, and the AirPods Max. Now I'm still a little salty with Apple since they haven't decreased the price of the AirPods Max in three years. And honestly, they aren't that great of headphones anyways, in my opinion. So for everything that I'm talking about, I like to stick with the AirPods Pro second generation, which is what I have. Now, why does this matter? Apple has been promoting their spatial audio binaural rendering for the past couple of years on Apple Music. And it is almost inevitable that the way music is produced will be exclusively or even primarily immersive. Now, does that mean every bedroom and home producer has to go out and buy the, the biggest and the baddest surround sound system imaginable? Absolutely not. Now, I absolutely recommend anyone that does have the money to go out and do some research and figure out what's best for your room and your setup to buy the, the necessary things for Adobe Atmos setup. And I'll get into why in just a moment. Now, the general public doesn't really care about what Dolby Atmos is, but they care about what sounds good, especially in the most commonly used listening device on the planet, headphones. And where Apple has invested so much time in their headphone technology to become more immersive, it is only a matter of time before three-dimensional audio is the most desired way to consume music. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into reason number one on why I recommend these pair of headphones to any producer. Like I mentioned in the beginning, everybody listens to everything on these things. Music, movies, phone calls, podcasts. Now while I would not recommend mixing solely on AirPods, these are the best referencing headphones because everyone uses them. Now what I recommend even more than AirPods is mixing on a pair of headphones that you are most familiar with. But if you're like me and use AirPods almost daily, it is nice to have in your artillery for music production even if you're not working in Dolby Atmos. Reason number two, spatial audio. Now, while I feel like there should be a better standard for binaural rendering be between Apple's spatial audio and Dolby's renderer, and I'm sure Amazon's gonna come up with their own thing and Spotify eventually getting into the picture, I do think it is something that Apple does have on their radar and that they will eventually be perfecting within the next couple of years. With the release of the Apple Vision Pro nearing this spring, I feel like it is almost essential for Apple to take the visual immersive experience and join it with the audio to make it one of the coolest immersive products out there. Now, is the extreme price gonna be justifiable for that? Well, we'll just have to see. All right, time to clarify some things. Now, before we go into the rest of this video, I did want to clarify that there, apparently there are some things that I was misinformed about on how you could use Logic Pro with AirPods. Apparently, even the 7.1.4 version of what comes out of Logic when you're monitoring is going to be completely different than what the rendering of what Apple's providing, even for a fully immersive setup. And at the timing of this video, I've been referencing all of my mixes straight from Apple Music because it gives me the ability to listen to my fully immersive system without having to make anything more complicated. And basically what I do with these Apple Music mixes is I send it into Logic Pro and I measure the loudness and true peak to compare what some people are doing and what a different artist is doing and what a different producer is doing and see what the deal is with Luffs and True Peak, but apparently that's not even right. So I just wanted to reiterate for the next couple of options that I'm mentioning, mainly partakes to Logic Pro and the spatial rendering that they have to offer, which to me is pretty accurate. Now I will go into more detail on how I did it and depending on the next couple of weeks and what answers I'm getting from other producers, 
on how to produce and reference music properly. It could change, but again, I just wanted to reiterate and let you guys know that I am using Logic Pro and a lot of what I'm talking about is good for any producer. Whether you are referencing mixes in Logic Pro or songs that are already released that you have put out in Dolby Atmos and comparing it to what it sounds like in your DAW. These headphones are not really that good for monitoring, whether you're tracking or mixing hands-on. I just like these for reference. But anyways, let's get back to the video. And finally, reason number three, head tracking. One of the major benefits to owning the wireless Apple headphones is that it works seamlessly with their own music production software, Logic Pro, which supports Dolby Atmos playback. Usually I would say this about any pair of headphones working with Logic Pro, but with the help of spatial audio, we have the ability to take advantage of the head tracking technology built within the AirPods. This will give anyone that doesn't own a fully immersive studio an idea of not only what it would sound like with people that do take advantage of the head tracking ability with spatial audio, but will give you a better idea of what it would actually sound like in an immersive studio. And just to reiterate, everything that I'm talking about only applies to the AirPods Pro and the AirPods Max line. I wish Apple would go ahead and release a second generation of the AirPods Max because for a pair of headphones that have been released for the past three years and still being sold at a whopping $550, they are not <laughs> worth it. Hopefully this next generation will have a lot of improvements like the first generation AirPods Pro had with the second generation. And honestly, with the second generation being sold at $250 as of right now, it's honestly worth it if you're wanting to have a decent pair of headphones that are extremely portable and have great noise cancellation. And speaking of the evolution of Apple's headphones, I feel like they're about to come out with some kind of better way to immerse yourself in music than just a pair of headphones. Like I said, with the Apple Vision Pro, it is only a matter of time before it has its own accessories and you are able to listen to music in the most immersive way possible. Which is why I say you shouldn't mix solely in headphones because with the evolution of this new technology, it's only a matter of time before we are having other ways to reference our mixes other than headphones. It's not the only way we listen to music, guys. But if that is all you have to use, I see no problem in messing around and figuring out what best works for you in referencing your mixes in Dolby Atmos. Just be sure to reference your music on some kind of other immersive sound system like a living room sound bar, a 5.1 surround sound system. And if you have the opportunity to get into a studio like mine, definitely beg your friends to go check out their studio, I guess. And if you are looking to invest into a decent immersive system, I have a few videos that go into detail on what my favorite picks are for studio monitors here. And if you still don't know what I'm talking about and want to get a better idea of what Dolby Atmos is, check out my video here. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.